you can think of MATLAB as a laboratory for matrices. It is a great platform to work with matrix data. Now let's look at few basic terminology that we are going to use in this course. A single value is referred to as scalar. A scalar basically has a single row and a single column. Okay? And the size of a scalar is one by one, where the first element refers to the number of rows and the second element refers to number of columns. All right, so let's talk about vectors. This is called as column vector because it has one column and that is called as row vector because it has a single row. Now let's look at the sizes of these two entities. A column vector has size six by one because it has six rows and one column. And this row vector has one row and six columns. All right, moving on to matrices. Matrices have more than one column or one row. For instance, this matrix has six rows and six columns, and then the size is six by six. Let's look at the syntax to create vectors and matrices. To begin with, the syntax to create a row vector is you start out with square brackets and then you keep entering the values that you want to be present in that vector. Okay, square brackets and the values in between. Now the values can be separated with a space or a comma. It doesn't matter. So both of them are going to give you a vector which is the same. If you'd like to create a column vector, you'll have to use semicolon. Semicolon is gonna create a new row. So when I run this, uh, I get a column vector of elements one, two, three, and four. Now let's try to create a vector with values from one to 10. To do that, I'll have to open the square brackets, type all those values and close the square brackets and yeah. So that's how I get it. Now the same vector can be created in a single shot by using colon operator. So when I say one colon 10, I'm telling MATLAB that I need values from one to 10. Okay, so one colon 100 is going to give me the values from one to 100. You could also add a step size to this colon operator. For instance, if I do one, colon two, colon nine. So I'm gonna start with one and then in the increments of two, I'm gonna get the values, okay? So I have one, three, five, seven, and nine. So nine is the ending element. Let's see what happens if I use a step size of three. So it started with one, one plus three is four, four plus three is seven, and seven plus three is 10, which is going beyond the end value so it won't be included in the result. The colon operator is very powerful. Uh, let's see an example where we can create a sequence uh, that decreases. Okay, so I start with value 10, my step size is minus one, and then my end value is one. Okay, so I start with 10 and then end with one. Okay, so let's see how we create matrices in MATLAB. Uh, so I have a equals to one, two, three, semicolon, four, five, six. Wherever the semicolon is there, it's going to create a brand new row. So I am demonstrating it by adding one more row. All right, so you can also use colon operator while creating matrices. For instance, here, I'm creating a very big matrix uh, with values from one to 10, 11 to 20, and, and 21 to 30, okay? While creating a matrix, you have to make sure that the number of elements in each row are the same. MATLAB will throw an error when there is a dimensional mismatch. Let me add one more element up there and then it should be good to go. 